Hello, my name is Justin, and today we will be installing and unboxing this Wi-Fi adapter. It is from TP-Link, which was kind of a big brand when I was researching this. Uh, but it is for PCI Express. You can just put it right into one of those slots, and so if you already know how to do that, well, there you go. But it's for Windows 8, but I have heard that Windows 10 it works fine with. Otherwise, we can just download the driver, and it should work fine. But the reason why I'm getting this is because my computer currently does not have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and so now with this I'll be able to do that. Um, I also am planning to build my own computer here in the future, and I will be able to take it out of this computer that I have right now, and then put it into that one, and it should be super easy. So let's get started. All right, to start off this build, all we need is obviously the product, your computer, some scissors, and a screwdriver. So, let's get this open. We've got a box in a box. And finally, we can open it up. We have, I believe, drivers or any sort of installation needs for that one. I'm not sure how much I'll need that, but it's there. And then we got a couple of these things. And then these are our antennas, a bracket for the PCA slot on the back, and our actual product right here. So to begin, all we need to do is unscrew this. All right, and there we are. So, all we have to do is plug it into this PCI slot. Most modern keyboard, uh, sorry, motherboards have this slot, it's called PCI Express. Grax card can go into regular PCI slots that have been around for much longer. But for now, we can just take that off. All right, and this is the slot that I was talking about before. So what we have to do first is get this slot out right here. And the way that we do that for this, I think we just have to kind of bend it and break it off. I don't really see a better way to do it. This is just from Dell itself, so it might be different from your case and each case might be different. But then let's first install our product right here. Take it out of the anti-static sleeve. And there we have it. Make sure you try to touch it from the metal parts at the best that you can. So now you just have to line up the gold pieces into the slot, push down, and make sure it's lined up with the slot that is over here. And I believe that is in all good. Actually, I'm not sure why we had this. It's just probably a spare then. And we can just add the antennas after we screw back on our case. And finally, at the end here, we can just put on our antennas just at these little screws right here. And they pretty much just simply screw on and you can adjust it so that whichever way you want it to go, it can go. And so the way that my computer is, it's best if I, in where my router is in my house, best to try to get it to position once it's tight. Position this way. And actually we'll probably do that at the end. And so wherever your router is, you can just position it so that it will get the best signal. Mine is still pretty close, so it should be fine just where it is, but there we are. Now we will go and make sure that all loads up okay on Windows 10. Alright, so now we are in Windows 10 and it loaded up perfectly fine for me in Windows 10. Your situation might be different and if that's the case, you can go to the TP-Link website and they should have a driver that you can download and install. But over here in our Wi-Fi menu, you can see now we have two Wi-Fi's, which I might go in and try to figure how those are labeled and show up but for now you can see that I do have that 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi right now this is my Wi-Fi and this is the one I've been using 
and so it looks like it's perfectly fine and working great. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope that this was helpful or entertaining.